Okay, so welcome to the next Streamzy community meeting. Uh, first point on the agenda is uh, questions and uh, uh, questions and issues. Open forum. Does anyone have something they want to discuss? Okay, if not, then we can move to the open PRs and issues. I added few issues to the list. Uh, so first one is a PR which someone opened, which I thought I didn't really like it because it kind of adds the type here, but then needs to recreate the array, which seems unnecessary to me and not make much sense, but yeah, maybe Tom or someone else uh, who is better at Java has some opinion. I'm certainly not better at Java, but just confirming we can hear you. Tom, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, this is the first time I've uh, seen this. So um, I probably need to just have a look to figure out whether that's really necessary. Uh, what is it? 4699. Why can't I see this? There's a link in the in the agenda. Uh, so there is. Thank you. Right, so I think the uh, creating the new array list shouldn't be necessary. I think you can probably do it just by casting to a raw list. Um, I'd need um, to pass it through a compiler to know for sure, but that's my hunch. Okay, then uh, want to look at it later, or should I? Yeah, I'll, I'll have Does a look at it later. Directly? I will. I will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, there's another similar one from the same contributor, but I think that's a bit more simple because uh, just replace runnable with a uh, with lambda. Uh, but yeah, maybe Tom, if you can have a look at this one as well, if it makes sense. Sure. Uh, this person seems to be opening all the PRs basically based on the IntelliJ or IDE suggestions. So, uh, uh, yeah, I guess most of them should make sense. Now the third one, someone screwed up the link here. So that's the Shubham's PR about the... Uh, yes, I, I need to look at this today. Um, 
Shogam messaged me about it um, on Thursday. I didn't have time. Uh, Tuesday, sorry, I didn't have time to look at it yesterday, um, but it's on my list for today. Okay, great. So that's where the things which I found like we might want to discuss. Uh, any PRs or anything someone else wants to discuss? Okay, then uh, there's one proposal which is currently open. And that's from Lukash. It's opened yesterday, so uh, yeah, maybe just to raise it to everyone's attention. Uh, I left already some comments as did Adria Kup, uh, but yeah, maybe everyone can have a look uh, at some reasonable time at this. Lukash, want to talk a bit more about it, or do we just give everyone time to look at it? We can't hear you, Lukash. At least me. Yeah, I can't hear you either, Lukash. But I guess maybe then everyone has a look at it, and if there are some big issues, then can discuss it next time yeah i think the proposal is quite straightforward so yeah. it should be clear from it what uh, we want to do any other proposals anyone wants to discuss there's nothing else open so i guess there's nothing so i added one more thing which i wanted to discuss and that's uh Tom, you said that you think we should add this separate control plane listener. And yeah. uh, so I originally thought that we maybe can do it the way that we add the listener, keep it there for multiple versions, uh, multiple streams and releases, and we'll then start using it. But yeah, I mean, we did a lot of effort around making the upgrades more smooth and being able to jump the versions. So if we do it that way, that will kind of take a long time before we can, before we add the listener, until we can actually use the listener. So I guess the question is, how do we want to proceed with that? Because otherwise, if we want to enable it, we would need some kind of API to kind of enable it manually by the user or something like that. So I wonder if you had any thoughts about how that might look like and how it might be done. I'm not entirely sure I und understand what the problem is here. So the problem is that we will break upgrade if we just add and start using it in in the next release, for example. Because so if we add the listener and basically start using it in the in one go then yeah the upgrades will not work because they will expect it to exist uh, so they will be not able to roll the brokers and things like that so i think we either need some complicated logic to edit or, or smart logic or we need to have some flag how to kind of enable it or something like that yeah 
I mean, it's not a problem that's unique to this. There are potentially plenty of other things where um, you've got a similar sort of problem around how we uh, how we handle this in the upgrades and of course the downgrades as well. Um, so my gut feeling is that that's where we should uh, think about whether we can improve that situation um, in a sensible way. I mean, the easiest thing is obviously to sort of um, just keep bolting on more and more um, things into the the custom resource, but you know, they're things that people sort of typically want to use anyway. Um, so you end up with more and more stuff that people have to configure to say they want to use this thing that you know pretty much anyone will want to use, um, just so that you are backwards compatible. Um, and it might be that that's the most sensible way of dealing with it, but maybe if we can put a little bit of thought into um, whether we need to uh, make the the upgrades um, a little more clever, then because I mean this this sort of problem is probably going to happen with um, Kit five hundred upgrades, for example. Um, you know, and yeah, I, I can just see that we're going to end up having this repeatedly again and again. So we should convince ourselves now that there's nothing, that, you know, that we have to go the route of um, having an increasingly horribly complicated CR. But it's not just a question of upgrade. It's also like, for example, with this one, how do you downgrade from it? Right. You Sorry, which really one? With the control plane listener. Mm -hmm. So like you don't have downgrade logic in the operator because it's basically the next one who downgrades it. So you can't have some special logic to say, okay, now I'm being uninstalled. So I just reconfigure the cluster to not use the control plane listener. So that's why I think you might need some kind of control over it. Yeah, it kind of end. Yeah, I see what you mean. I don't immediately have any bright ideas, so. Yeah, I mean, the idea which I had, as I, I basically had two ideas, right? One was the one which I said on the beginning that we just add the listener now and then in stream Z, 030 or 028, we start using it, expecting that basically everyone already rolled out. I think that's, fairly reasonable and I don't think it's necessarily a problem if people can cannot upgrade or downgrade from I don't know stream Z020 a year later. But that basically means that yeah we will be able to use the control plane listener only in a long time. So yeah that would sound like it's something we don't really care about. The other thing I thought about is that we can simply add the listener in 023 and have it always there, but have some kind of flag in the API to kind of start using it. So that when you upgrade to 023, it would roll out the new listener, but only when you enable the flag, it will start using it. And before the downgrade, you would basically need to disable it again to stop using it, and then you can downgrade. But mm -hmm. yeah, the concern I have really is that it's kind of a misusing the API, as you said. So yeah, it's 
technically it's probably easy to have their flag use separate control plane listener or whatever but yeah you don't really want to have 10 flags like that there and have the users to switch them so yeah i don't know should we have some kind of feature gates configured on the operator level for yeah example? that's what i was just thinking does this really have to be on a per cr thing or can we just have feature gates on the operator which is you know sort of a bit more um, kubernetes style yeah that might work probably or because if you are downgrading you are anyway downgrading the operator mm -hmm. so yeah you cannot and then that keeps the actual api much cleaner rather than forcing people to add stuff to say they want to use stuff that kind of should be the default anyway yeah i, I guess the go on. only disadvantage well, it's a big bang isn't it when you enable the, that feature gate on the operator then all of your all the operands basically get it all at once yeah, I don't think that's, I'm not sure that's the main issue I would see. I, yeah, how would we roll it out kind of? I guess it would be disabled, for example, in 23. Or will it be disabled? I mean, ultimately it's just gonna be a, environment variable to the operator so people will be able to um yeah sort of enable the flag in 023 if they wanted to but i guess it would be disabled by default yeah for some yeah. number of releases and then we'd enable it by default yeah i guess that the kind of mix the two approaches i was thinking about we can have it there, but have it disabled by default till, I don't know, autumn or end of the year. Until we assume it's safe that everyone is using reasonably new version to enable it by default. But people are able to use it even before when they want and when they know what they are doing. Indeed. I think this is this could be a, a more general pattern that we can apply to other sort of features. And perhaps in due course, you might also have some way of being able to override it on a a CR, a sort of a per CR thing via an annotation or something. Yeah. That would at least allow you to sort of uh, dip your toe in the water before all your Kafka clusters started using it or any particular feature if you go with the more generalized argument. Okay, that might be something to explore, I guess, then. Yeah, I think that's an idea that might work out. Do we want to have a proposal around the kind of general feature flag thing? Yeah, it might bring it to a slightly wider audience and uh, 
force people to have a, a bit more of a think about um, when we might want to use this and what exactly what features it should have, such as the annotation, for example. Do we need that immediately or is that just a thing that we might do down the road? Okay, that sounds like a plan then. <laughs> Anyone has anything else to this? So it's not just me and Tom making up things. Hey, uh, Jacob, this is uh, Harsha here. Uh, Hi. I'm, I'm not sure if we are still open, if, if you have reached on to a point about the open uh, discussions and stuff. If not, I can just hold back. Uh, so let, let's finish this control plane listener and then we can have open discussion again. Sure. Uh, thanks a lot. Does anyone else have anything to the control plane listener? Going once, twice. Okay. So yeah, I guess we can get back to the open discussion now. Sure. Uh, thanks a lot, Jacob. So, so I think um, we proposed about having uh, power systems as one of the architectures um, you know, of evaluations where we can do some sort of CICD uh, test cases also, right? Uh, this was being proposed uh, in, in the last community call. And we also kind of uh, discussed that um, we can showcase one of the build process to just to ensure that there is no deviation and then just to give the confidence to the larger audience members and then the maintainers per se, stating that there, there is no deviation in terms of the build process or, or uh, any of the CICD test cases. Um, let me just attempt to share my screen. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm quite new to Zoom. Um, so. I, I think I need to give you some. Okay. Uh... not using Zoom regularly either, so. Okay. To be honest, it's a bit mystery. Can you try to just share it? Does it say something? Oh, it says that host uh, disabled participant sharing screen. Um, if not, uh, what I can do is- I No, have... I, I did last time somehow. Okay. I just need to figure out how I did it because. Yeah, what, what I can do instead uh, is Jacob, I have um, the Travis CI on the power systems running um, on which I have uh, enabled for my uh, folk repository of OAuth. Probably I can share that link and if it is okay, if you can bring it up, if not. Uh, can you try again to share the screen? Okay. So it is asking me to grant privileges. Just bear with me. Uh, how does this thing work? Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. All right. I think probably I'll just get started on the terminal of my uh, power server. I have uh, logged in to my power system. So is the font size okay, Jacob? Yeah, uh, yeah. I can I can read it fine. Okay. So all the prerequisites have been installed just to save us some time. Um, and uh, I have uh, I have the Maven and all the Java dependencies, everything in place. 
Maven's version 3.6 and version 11, right? Um, I'm just going to do the build. Okay, and then there is some problem. Okay, Java Home. I'm just going to set the Java path first. Okay, guess we are through the Java doc issues. Yeah, I think uh, so. Uh, I, I just did uh, a build prior to sharing my screen, right? I think that's where I just got a head start and, and uh, everything was working perfectly smooth. And then uh, when I look at the CI CD based test cases, right, for uh, Open JDK 11 version, I think um, we were only doing a couple of things. Uh, I think it was majorly the install without the Java doc uh, based testing. And then we were doing uh, spot checks, uh, you know, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, spot bugs check. Uh, I think right now they, they work pretty smooth and we do not see any issues over there. Uh, for JDK 8, we have a couple of dependencies, which is key clock and Hydra related Docker images to be available. And along with that, we need to have the Kafka operator related issues, a Kafka operator related Docker images to be made available, right? So I think this is a chicken and egg problem that we were trying to solve uh, uh, from, from a couple of days. Uh, but, but the entire premise of sharing this demo is to, you know, to show that uh, all the tests are, uh, or at least the build process at this point in time goes smooth and it is nothing uh, uh, we have to go out of the box in order to get things fixed you know the all of the primary components like maven java uh, and then uh, git components and all the make related uh, uh, you know packages are already available right now i'm just doing this on the ubuntu machine and uh, you know i can do it do it on uh, the red hat machine as well you know but i'm just going to take a pause in case jacob uh, you, you want me to do any more series of tests or runs No, I, I don't think I have anything at this point. Okay. So I was just doing this on uh, top of Ubuntu 18.04, which was the uh, the older LTS version, right? And then this works on the newer LTS version, which is 20.04 as well. Um, I'm just going to quickly switch to the screens of, um, yeah. So these changes are local at this point in time. Uh, to my repository, uh, I have configured the Travis CI. Uh, so earlier, it, it should have, uh, you know, uh, uh, fired three jobs altogether: one for JDK mm -hmm. eight on uh, uh, JDK eight and eleven for Intel systems or x86 systems, and JDK eleven for S3 and NTX. And then there is one more job that's getting triggered for, uh, you know, the power systems. I'm just gonna switch over there. And uh, yeah, let me just zoom in a bit. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. So it is picking up the power equivalent, um, you know, uh, the worker nodes and uh, the Docker image for that matter. And is processing and uh, processing the big clones and performing the tests and so on and so forth, right? Based on the logic that's been defined on Travis build, it is just mm -hmm. doing, uh, uh, it is only triggering the JDK 11 based tests over here. And uh, it did go smooth. There are no issues at this point in time. Um, and we have an internal CI 
where we are trying to perform uh, uh, you know, the build process on a daily basis. And then uh, we, we did not see any deviations in terms of the build process and no issues have been reported so far. Okay, that's great. Yeah. So uh, again, uh, so I and WG right now are working with Key Clock community as well as Hydra community to have the related Docker images published for power. And so, so that we can get ourselves enabled on JDK 8. But it, it's it's taking time, um, you know. Uh, the community needs to understand what's happening uh, with power systems and so on and so forth, right? Uh, so we are working relentlessly over there to get the power uh, specific images so we can get ourselves enabled for the JDK eight based tests over here as well. Okay, so should we get in the meantime back to the PRU opened and try to merge that at least so far? Sure. Uh, is the PR up to date, or do you need to do some updates there from the from the latest changes? I think it is not up to date. The head is not up to date. I will probably go update the head, and I'll uh, uh, I'll ping you over the Git issues. Yeah. Okay. Then so then we can get that merge at least as a start, I guess. Sure. Sure. So I think I think we have. Um, uh, for streams, the Kafka operator related issues, right? Um, I think I think we thought we'll park it aside until we show this demo, and then uh, we'll work with the community to see how uh, what we think about uh, how do we set up the pipeline for uh, CI/CD for power specific images. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, I think I think we have some dedicated servers in IBM Cloud that can be only catered uh, for streams community as, as a broader uh, uh, as only for uh, streams community right i think i think uh, interimly i and abhijit are going to work with you and uh, the broader community members on on how to address some of the common uh, issues that that, uh, that that we are encountering from streams operator kafka operator perspective at yeah. least we can, get started, we can get started with oauth and kafka bridge is that okay okay yeah okay. i think that's okay so I and Abhijit will just update the heads of our PRs and then we will submit, resubmit it. Yeah, just uh, just ping either me or, and I will ping everyone else, or there's a streamsy slash maintainers group, which you can okay. kind of ping there as well on the PR or, and okay. yeah, we will have a look at it. Sure, sure. Thanks, Jacob. Did you have any specific questions to me and WG at this point in time? I don't have any, not sure if anyone else has anything. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for working on this. Sure. So does anyone have any other topic to discuss? Not, then I guess that might be it for today.